How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we will be installing Kodi on our Nintendo Switch. Now before we start the process you do need Lineage OS in order for this to work so if you don't have it I do have a video that you can watch and follow along with that. Set yourself up with Lineage OS and then when you're ready you can come back and follow this process with us. Other than that let's go ahead and get started. Now I do not recommend installing Kodi on the Switch because there's one huge problem the touchscreen on the app does not work really good at all it is very buggy and it doesn't it's not accurate so there is a workaround and it's to use the joy cons in order for it to work however we need to get it paired and input it on Kodi first and that is also a problem as well but let's go ahead and continue with the process so I know a lot of people like Cody and I thought I'd like to share that it is working and it's functioning just fine but let's go ahead and continue so first off let's go ahead and download Cody you're gonna to wanna to go into this website right here on Chrome which is called Cody.tv forward slash download so I'm gonna do Cody.tv and you see this middle one right here it says Cody.tv forward slash download once you do that, it'll be right here. I'll leave it on the screen so that way you can see. Cody.tv forward slash download. You can, once you're in this page, you can scroll down on Cody's page and then click on Android because we have Android. And then you want to click on the 32 bit ARM v7. Once it's done there, it'll start right here on download started and it'll pop up right here saying you want to install it and just click download. And it's a pretty small file, so it shouldn't take that long, but I'll catch up with you when it's ready. Okay, so if you want to see it's downloading down here, you can go into details, and it should pop up the downloads page. And you see that we're almost about there. Okay, so now that we are done with our download, it will finish right here. You can touch right there, or you can touch right here where it says open. So I'm going to click on open, and it's going to ask you, do you want to install this application? Go ahead and click on install and then you're good to go. Now you have successfully installed Kodi on your Nintendo Switch. Now here comes the interesting and the hard part. Let's go ahead and click done because now what we need to do is connect our Joy-Cons so that way we can have Kodi running on our Switch or that way we can actually have function of Kodi. So if you never um, connected your Joy-Cons you're going to learn how to do it today. So go into your menu here, go into your settings, and then under settings, do connected devices, Bluetooth cast, then go into Bluetooth. And here, if you've never done it before, then you won't have anything. But if you've uh, had your Joy Cons already, Bluetooth on here, then you can uh, do it here. So I'm going to do the left side first. And you're going to want to poke on pair new device and you're going to want to hold down this button right here until it starts flashing and you see once it pops up on your screen you can let it go and once it's flashing like that just go ahead and click on pair it might give you like a message saying you sure you want to pair but I've done it before so everything works here but right here it says Joy-Con has been connected so now that we're done with that now let's go ahead and do the right and the same thing pair a new device and hold it down right here and now the right joy con has been popped up and now we can connect so now it's on bluetooth now it popped back here and now both of my joy cons are connected i have function of it and that's how you connect your joy cons however it doesn't really help much on here unless you do other kinds of things but um we're doing it for Cody for today so now that you've done that now you got to do your first run of Cody you will be prompt with these messages it requires you to uh, access your device like right here it's just another same thing but smaller message access photos you need to allow or else this will not work Cody will not work okay now here comes the hard part when you're in Cody you have an options to uh, you need to connect your joy cons so if you push a or B uh, it, it should pop up an option to go into here but most of the time it messes up that way so what we need to do is 
try our best to get into the settings. So you need to get into settings, see how I'm pushing up here and it doesn't work. Uh, I need to, I'm gonna keep tapping Cody until it lets me go inside. It lets me go inside settings. See, so I just kept tapping it up here on settings right here. You're gonna find out that it's hard to get into, so I'm gonna push this one and it's gonna go into settings. See that? So this is the biggest problem that Cody's having, having, but once we get to input our controllers, then we're good to go and use Cody like normal. So I'm going to tap it here until I find input. And now I'm on input. Now I need to get over here on this end. And now i got to find configure attach controller. So I'm going to push up here on devices and it got me into uh, right here to configure our controller. It might take some practice, but I have been doing it for a while, so that's why it's a little bit easier for me. But uh, once you're here, now we got to figure out how to get A. And once you get into A, B, A and B, X, Y, you can do all these. And once you get to guide, you can stop. So I'm going to just show you right here. Uh, that was B, A. So now I, ac I accessed A. I can push A. I can push B, X, Y start plus minus back and then let it run out on time there so now we've configured uh, a and b which is the most important things now we need to be able to go up and down so I'm gonna drag my finger here and see how it says up right there I need to highlight up it's very annoying there you go now I can push right here up right down and left now we can let it run out in time and then we have our controllers successfully input it on our switch so now I can actually push B and it'll go back and B again and now we have total function of our Cody so before the uh, video is over I'm gonna go ahead and show how to install at least one add-on or so so I'm gonna go here on under file manager and then I'm gonna go into add source then I'm going to push A on none. And then we're going to want to use this URL address, HTTP. Colon. HTTPS, I'm sorry. Colon forward slash forward slash L V T B V dot com forward slash repo so this is how you'd spell it I'll leave it on the screen and uh, if you want to try it for yourself or unless you have other methods of getting into uh, repos I'm gonna leave it as repo so I'm just gonna just try it for here once if everything goes well it doesn't give you an error that I didn't uh, can uh, get out if uh, it does connect to the server it'll just pop uh, reverse out of here and go right back into there so it didn't work, that means something is misspelled. So HTTP, it might be the S. Okay, so that's how it's spelled, HTTP without the S and go into OK. everything went well well when I changed the s out of the HTTP so make sure spelling is very important that way if it won't work on you but now that we're done there we can go back all the way down to the home we can go into add-ons and then go up to the open box and then we're gonna want to go into install from zip file it'll bring up this error saying that for security reasons you need to uh, have you have unknown sources disabled you're gonna to want to go into settings so that way we can enable it and it's already highlighted there just press a uh, it'll give you this warning uh, saying that um, it could damage things but we if you've installed Cody before this is necessary in order for it to work after you enable it you go back once and go back into install from zip file after that you can go and find your repo that you installed and I'm gonna press A on mine and then here's my repository once it's done I can go up to install from repository and now I can um, 
use the repo that I installed and look for all the add-ons that I want. So I'm going to go to video add-ons and on this one, uh, this particular one, we have 683 add-ons. So um, there's so many that you can do that have movies and TV shows and live TV and cartoons and whatever you can think of. But just so we can do one real quick, I'm going to install this one. It's a cartoon app. It's very simple to install. And I see how that was already installed. And then I'll do one up here, which is called Yoda. It's very uh, useful. It's very good. A lot of Cody builds use this add-on called Yoda. It is very good. And it'll install everything that you need on top of it. So let this uh, run its course. But um, I'll end it here. Um, I hope you don't dislike this video. I wanted to show everybody on all types of things. As a lot of people were waiting on Cody, I decided to try my best to install Cody as best as I can. But uh, there was that one issue. But after that, once you exit out of the Cody, once you connect your switch, it'll always be connected. So you don't have to pair or configure your buttons again it'll always be configured so it's, this is just a one-time thing on uh, in configuring the inputs of your joy cons but once that's good then uh, you're good to go so guys if you ran into any issues I know it's gonna be a pain so I hope nobody gets too upset on on trying to figure out this big problem I just wanted to show another thing with you guys but let me know if you got it to work. Let me know how hard it was in order to get your inputs like it was for me. But um, good luck, everybody that tries to do this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, I do have other things like MediaBox, which is the better alternative to Kodi. Um, it's a lot simpler, and it uh, uh, registers well with the touchscreen. So check it out. If you like, uh, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you like as well and um, everybody thanks for watching and as always I will see you on the next one